call off the search party. Joe Biden has been found. Joe Biden He's the man The man with the Biden touch A creepy touch With Democrats starting to trend with the hashtag Cuomo for president because you've got Governor Cuomo out there every day giving his own version of a coronavirus update in the People's Republic of New York. It's got him looking presidential, poised as a leader, as a take-charge kind of guy. By the way, for you people in the state of New York, even you so-called Republicans and conservatives are saying, I don't like Governor Cuomo, but he really is taking charge, and it's making me feel better. Remember, this is the same guy who will confiscate your guns and wants abortion right up even during the process of the birthing procedure. He signed that into law. This is the guy that you're now saying is a take charge kind of guy. Yeah, take charge kind of people like that tend to take charge by taking away your rights. Don't ever, ever forget that. That said, Joe Biden obviously feeling the pressure that he needs to be out there saying something about what's going on with the coronavirus and looking presidential right now because the news is not talking about him at all. There's no coverage of a campaign right now. None. Zero. Zilch. It's 24-7, Corona and Trump. Trump and Corona. <laughs> so Joe comes out of hiding to give his own conference on the coronavirus. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to uh, make sure that we, uh, we are in a position that we are, well, let me, let me go to the second thing. No, 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 uh, uh, what did he just say? <laughs> get the teleprompter up there. Get, get up. As he waves his hand frantically. Get the, I, I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say when it's on a card in front of you. In all seriousness, this is elder abuse. This man obviously has something wrong with him. Even liberal pundits are saying, we got a problem here. You think? The man literally has dementia or Alzheimer's. But there is a definite cognitive problem with his thinking and his communication. There is a problem. And you can't script him, he, if he's going to become the president, he's got to be able to think, to reason, and quickly make decisions. If a guy like him gets elected, you talk about the reinvigoration and the resurrection of the deep state, they will run everything then. This is elder abuse, which is why it is really trending, hashtag Cuomo for president. That said, listen to Biden try to coherently articulate what he would do if he were president during this crisis. The president must use the Defense Production Act to radically increase the supply of critical goods needed to treat patients and protect our health care workers and first responders. Um, Joe, I know you have trouble remembering what state you're in. I know you have trouble remembering what day of the week it is and even what year it is. But I do need to tell you, the very thing that you just said Trump ought to do, he did. It's already been done. Including the protective gear like face masks and critical equipment like ventilators so desperately needed in our hospitals. It means working with all our allies and partners to get supplies from overseas when available, dispatching U.S. military assets to retrieve them quickly if they are available. It means federal coordination of the supply chains to accelerate deliveries and get them to the right places at the right time, and much more. Let me say this as delicately as I can, Joe. Duh! <laughs> Duh! And it's in process. You know, it's an amazing thing. You and your son and your China connection 
and the billions of dollars that you have made in the China deals that were orchestrated under the Obama administration. Nobody wants to talk about that. Um, how much of our manufacturing ended up over in China? H how much of it ended up over in China? Yeah, a lot. And how much kickback did you get as a result of that, Joe? Ah, uh, the story's yet to be told. That said, because it was manufactured, these supplies overseas, we do have a shortage on this side of the ocean. So what the president has done is turned American manufacturing loose to start manufacturing and making these products. It's in process, Joe. I know you are absolutely, you have no concept of time. I had a father who at the end of his life had Alzheimer's. And he had no concept of time. He would call my sister at 4 o'clock in the morning demanding things like, come fix my TV remote. He, he would call every two hours and love my dad. And I'm not here making light of my dad or anyone suffering with something like Alzheimer's. But one of the, of the, the key, it's not just symptoms, it's traits. There's, there's no concept of time. Joe, you have no concept of time. This is already in process. And as these companies begin to manufacture and turn this stuff loose, it takes time to get it made and then to get it where it needs to be. But they're en route. I was in Staples Office Supply Store yesterday. Funny, half the staff there had masks. So I believe it's getting to the hospitals. The fact that Mayor de Blasio didn't bother to order anything ahead of time to get ready for this, that's on him, not on the president. That said, did you also hear what Joe said? Oh, we've we've got to get our, our allies overseas to start giving us ventilators and masks, and, and we need to organize with the Army to get those things safely. See, again, his instinct, his go-to, because it's in part of his pre-dementia mindset was we, we've, we've exported all of our manufacturing, all of our goods. And so in this befuddled state that he's in, his, his go-to, the part of his brain that still kind of functions like a computer, still, you know, kind of stuck and frozen, it goes to, we got to get stuff from our overseas allies. What the president did was he turned American manufacturing loose. We have automakers that are now manufacturing by the tens of thousands ventilators. 3M Corporation, which makes masks for construction sites, is now manufacturing them in mass for the medical community. You have distilleries, you know, the guys that make alcohol, beer, now making hand sanitizer. This is already in process, Joe. This is already well underway. And by the way, you do know that the world scientific community has now had to begrudgingly admit that the United States was far better prepared for this than any other country in the world. If there's any plus that comes out of coronavirus, it's going to be this. In America, we're done with overseas Chinese manufacturing, especially of our medication. And worldwide, you look at how coronavirus has devastated Europe, Hmm, it's not a real good commercial for socialized medicine or open borders, is it? You're going to watch Germany be the first to start closing their borders. Bum, ba -dum, bum. So even in the light of this hysteria and this chaos, there is hope. And Joe, seriously, please withdraw. Step down. It's only going to get worse. I'm talking about for you and your mental state. Please, for you people that advise him and supposedly love him, do the right thing. That's it for this quick little mini rant. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are a subscriber to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and a like. Smack the bell to get notification of my next rant.